Welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create text images like this, this, this. So if you have been seeing such images online and you're asking yourself how you can create such image, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video tutorial. All right. Step by step, I will take you through the process. So please do well to subscribe to our channel like this video give us a thumbs up and drop a comment at the end if you got value from this video one more thing it is important for you to understand that you need to stay to the end of this video so that you will understand the process and the steps involved in creating such beautiful art images so having said that let's go into the tutorial proper the first step is to open your browser and go to ideogram.ai the link will be somewhere around this video you can check the description area so if this is your first time you click on sign up with google if it's not your first time if you have signed up before you click on login so when you click on login it's going to ask you to log in with your google account then you select the google account that you have used to sign up earlier but for this tutorial we're going to sign up to sign up you click on sign up with google you select your google account also it is important for you to understand that this step works both on computer and on your phone so i'm going to select one of my accounts remember we are signing up so when you select your Google account, you accept the terms. You click on continue. Then you choose a display name. You enter a display name. You can see David is not available. So I'm going to try this. This is not available. I have used this one to sign up earlier. So you just enter a display name that is available. Let me put this. Okay, this is available. You click complete registration. So at this point, it's going to take you to Ideogram, the dashboard where you start generating your own images. Ideogram is an AI tool that helps you to generate images using text prompts. You can also use it to generate beautiful text art and text graphics. So to get started, you click on this plus icon and you will describe what you want by entering the prompt and you click on generate. But the easiest way to go about this is to use existing work to get what you want. Okay. You have trending. Trending has to do with the works that are trending. When someone publishes a new work, it comes under trending we have recent these are recent work then we have following these are people's work that you are following if you are following anyone you're going to see it here we have top these are the top works that are on ideogram can you see now when you like any image by tapping on this love icon it's going to bring you to your profile where you can log out or delete your account see the number of followers and the people you are following on this platform you are going to see generated if you generated any image and you are going to see pinned then you will see like these are the graphics you've liked this is my other account and you can see that i have generated an image here I don't have any pinned post and I have four likes meaning that four persons have liked this image I generated now my likes these are the images I liked can you see it so to generate your own image you click on this plus icon then you enter your prompt now getting a prompt might be difficult for most people so the best way to go about this is when you click on the home icon 
you look for the type of text image or text graphic you want to regenerate let's say you want to generate something like this so this has different versions you can see it then you click on remix you change this Lewis to whatever name you want you now click on generate it says wait to start so you allow it to generate completely 51 percent we are almost done can you see it's generating so the best way to recreate your own is by using existing works you can see that we have four different styles of david so you may not actually know the prompt that this person used or if you are doing it from scratch you may not get the exact prompt so the best way is to use what other people have done and you regenerate your own so when you click on me you can see that this david is here and if you want to download it you tap on it tap on these three dots that is vertical and you click on download and it will download to your device so let's do another one quickly i'm going to use this like I have already liked some text acts here. You can see that some of these things we are seeing here, they are similar to these works here that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So if you want to, you can see that this Vicky, this Vicky is similar to, is similar to this, and is similar to this. So these are already existing works that people have done. If I'm to create this from scratch by clicking on this plus icon, I may not get the exact prompt so to get this done better I have already liked some people's work and they're in my profile I will simply select anyone I want let's say this one and I'll click on remix then I'll change this Yanina to any name I want let's say Grace then i will click on generate can you see it's coming up 53 percent beautiful we are done so it's generated four different styles for you to choose whichever one you want you can tap on this one you click on these three dots that is vertical okay you click on download you can click on me when you click on me you will see your recent work can you see it so this is how to turn your text name into beautiful art or graphics like this so don't forget to go through the existing works that you like then you select the one you want to get something similar to and you remix it so when people post such beautiful acts just know that this is how they did it and instead of you to pay people to do this for you you can do it for yourself and save your money i can as well charge others who do not know how to do it a little token to do such for them don't forget to drop a comment if this video is helpful to you don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and share with your friends don't forget that you can access this website with your mobile phone or with your computer but for the benefit of those who don't have computer i used my mobile phone to do this tutorial so the same steps are applicable for those who are using their computer to assess it now listen i'm about to show you how to fix a particular error you may encounter while trying to sign up to this website some of you why you go to this website you will discover that it will be difficult for you to sign up or log in to this website and if you are experiencing such issue i'm going to show you how to fix it if you are seeing something like join waitlist when you come to this website it means that your country's ip is not allowed to access this website yet when you click on join waitlist it's going to ask you to enter your email then when you enter your email you'll be told that you'll be informed via your email when this website is accessible to you so it means that not all countries are allowed to access this website yet but if you are seeing something like sign up with google or when you click on login you can sign up with google then it means that your country's ip is allowed to access this website so what can you do when you find yourself in a situation where 
you can't access this website i'm going to show you what to do basically myself i can't access this website because my country's ip is not allowed so how do i access this website then that i was able to show you how to use this website i simply used vpn so if you have any reliable vpn of your choice you can use it change the location to either us uk or any european country and you'll be able to access this website but if you don't have any vpn then i'm going to recommend two that you can use and they are free the first one is sonic vpn and the second one is epic browser both sonic vpn and epic browser have computer version and mobile app version so because i'm using my mobile phone to show you how to use this website go to your play store and search for sonic vpn then you will see sonics sonics vpn this is the one i use you can download it or you can search for epic browser epic browser is like your google chrome but it has an inbuilt vpn so when you download your epic browser what you do is that you change the vpn to either us uk or any european country all right so for those of you that we use sonics vpn this is how sonics vpn looks like so when you open your sonic vpn you will click on connect you can see that it is connected let me disconnect this now i have disconnected when i go back to this website and reload it you will see that i am asked to join the wait list it means that this website is not available to my country's ip but when i use my sonic vpn I turn it on my sonic vpn is on i go back to this website i reload it you can see that i am asked to sign up with google meaning that my ip is allowed to use this website so you can either use sonic's vpn or epic browser or any other vpn of your choice to change your vpn to either us uk or any european country if you are not allowed to access this website and once you do that you'll be able to access the website remember that the vpns have both computer version and mobile app version and this website also can be accessed with your computer or with your mobile phone but for the sake of those who don't have computer i used mobile phone to show you how to do it the same steps and procedure applies to whether you are using mobile phone or you are using your computer so i hope you got value from this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video and drop a comment in the comment section thank you